Of course I miss you, Daron. This is the loneliest place on Earth. The most exciting thing ever happens here is the day when it don't rain. Excuse me, Daron, I got some work to do. Get on in here, Pete. We got us a big old asteroid on the three week collision course with Earth. has been named Attila, after the war leader of the Huns, who devastated Europe just before the fall of the Roman Empire. Attila was first spotted in a trekking station in Borneo. According to NASA sources, the probability of impact with Earth is 99%. One, four, ignition. Boston Lowe said in the press conference last night, If the shuttle is the last hope of the human race, then it'll have to do the job. Wait a minute, folks. Let me introduce the landing team. Luker Brink is a noted geologist. He'll evaluate our data on placement of the nuclear devices. We have to be accurate. The idea isn't to blow a tiller to bits. If we did, some of the pieces would certainly hit Earth with devastating effect. And now I hardly have to introduce Maggie Robbins to you. She's probably the most well-known journalist in the world. Uh, Maggie, you're famous for having once said that you never put up with censorship in any form. Now you're under NASA command. Miss Robbins is a reporter by vocation, but on this mission, she's... I think I can answer the question myself, Commander Lowe. Danny, I trained for this mission, and I have work to do in laying the nuclear charges. When I come home, I'll be a reporter and tell you all about it. But during the mission, I'm part of the team, and I will obey Commander Lowe like any good soldier. That may be the biggest news story of all. Maggie Robbins obeys orders. In going over your bios, I find that Professor Brink is also a noted archaeologist. While it's well known that Maggie is a prodigy at learning new languages, is this just coincidence? Not at all. We wanted the best and the brightest for this mission. Dr. Brink and Ms. Robbins are not narrow specialists. They are resourceful, widely educated, and creative thinkers. Does that apply to you too, Commander Lowe? My job is to keep everybody alive. I don't have to be bright. I just have to be careful. The other two crew members will remain with the shuttle. Ken Gordon is the most experienced shuttle pilot we have. Cora Miles is our payload specialist. As you all know, she's a candidate for Congress, but we figured saving the planet is more important than campaigning. It's cheaper, too. Any parting message for the people of Earth? We have exactly one chance. We've got to do it right. Let all your prayers be with us.
flow here. Come on out, kids. The water's fine. Robin's here. Going independent. <coughs> Welcome to the wonderful world of space. Don't bump into anything. <laughs> I'll be careful, Commander. Break here. Going independent. Howdy, Brink. Welcome to the place where geology and astronomy meet. A professor once told me, astronomers are geologists with clean hands and a squint. You going to quote him on that in some magazine, Robbins? I'm just part of the landing team right now, Commander Lowe. <laughs> <coughs> Like carbon paper, boss. Any problem with us taking the pig now, Ken? Just tell Miles and you can take the little squealer to market. Low out. Cockpit out. Miles, this is low. Do you read? Yeah, 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 boss. And I'm on you. You, you wish. wish. In, In your, your dreams. dreams. <laughs> Ready for the deployment of the free fall tool chest. Is the crew clear of the area? Crew is clear. Proceed. Everything fine with the pig, Cora? Looking sweet, boss. You just be good to my baby. Load a landing team. I'm taking the pig down to the surface. Follow me. You be good to my baby, boss. Can you hear me? We'll be back soon, Cora. Try not to miss me too much. Blow out. It's where explosive alpha should be placed. Let's see if we can clear up old Attila's complexion. Nice and smooth now. Placing 
Taking charge two on target site. Negative, negative, boss. It's Alpha Charge that goes there in quadrant two. I hear you, kid. I hear you. We rehearsed this thing a hundred times and I still managed to blow it. That's why you still need us up here, hero man. <laughs> that would have been a catastrophic error, Commander Ho. I noticed you didn't catch the mistake either, Brick. I didn't think I had to check up on the commander of the mission. Everybody checks on everybody, Brick. But don't worry, I'm sure Robbins will write a whole article on my bonehead mistake. It's our mistake. I didn't notice it either, Commander. And it was caught in time. That means the system worked. Thanks, Robbins. Shuttle, this is low. Replacing the explosive in quadrant two. Acknowledged. Could you give me a hand with this break? I'll be right there, Commander Low. Excellent work, Brink. Ken, the charge is set. Instruments confirm. Hey, I'm just so proud of you boys. Look at the pretty red light, boys and girls. I'd say this charge is armed. Ken, I'm jamming the shovel in under the boulder, then using maximum down thrust to pry it up. Does that sound workable? Well, I'm a little short on data about the tensile strength of shovel handles in zero G under maximum thrust conditions. In other words, who knows, it might work. Boss, be careful. If the handle breaks, maximum down thrust will smash you right into Attila. You know the saying, whether the stone hits the glass or the glass hits the stone. It ain't gonna hurt the stone. Thanks for the encouragement, kid. Break, if this actually works, the boulder's going to come flying straight at you. Better fly clear. Thanks for the warning. Looks like it worked. Now, aren't you glad I made sure the tool chest had a shovel in it? My rule is, if you can pick it up, take it with you, because you never know when you might need it. I have the same rule, Cora, but I thought it only applied to women in bars. <laughs> if you can pick her up. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Ken. You don't want to find yourself getting quoted as a sexist pig in Maggie's article. I'm not here to spy on you. Lighten up, Robbins. They're just teasing you. If they thought you were really a spy, they'd never talk freely on the open frequency. <laughs> Shuttle, this is low. Now placing the explosive on the face of the asteroid in quadrant three. Hey, acknowledged. I need another hand here, Brick. Of course, Commander. This asteroid has a pair of landing lights now, kids. Stick a fork in us, we're done. Who writes your material, Commander? <laughs> I get it all out of the newspaper, Robbins. <laughs> Miles, come in, Miles. Miles here. All this way just to lay down two little nukes on a big rock. Another 
example of big government wasting vast sums of money on silly projects like saving the world. Come on back. Slow out. Morton, come in, Morton. I'm here, boss. Both nukes are in place and armed. We made pretty good time, I think. Come on back home and we'll celebrate with a banquet of food in the tube. Blow out. Cockpit out. Let's head back to the shuttle and watch Attila do the old fire dance. Gordon, this is low. Do you read? I read you low. What is it? Both nukes are in place and armed. We made pretty good time, I think. Looks good, boss. Come on back inside for the fireworks. Confirm everybody inside. All in, Cora. All clear, payload. All clear, landing team. <laughs> shuttle. Confirm doors closed. Doors closed. The explosives are Houston gives us the go ahead. Say when, boss. Do it. Now let's say it's the big green triangle or the little red circle. Shut up and push <laughs> in. My baby's getting impatient. Here. Coming our way. What's the pig telling us, Cora? Attila's still in one piece. There's a lot of seismic bounds, a refractory. We're stable again. The radioactivity in Quadrant One is well within the safe range. What does Houston say, Ken? Everything's go for a surface walk and your option. Now let's go, landing team. Let's see what Attila looks like after plastic surgery. Be careful, kids. Attila is more dangerous now than before we tamed him. Those were certainly profound first words to speak under its new mood. I'm not making speeches, Robbins. I'm concerned about keeping everybody alive. Commander, I can collect more samples later. Right now, I'd like to get below the surface down into that tunnel. We're gonna do it eventually. We might as well do it now. You agree, Robbins? I'm game for it. I've called the pig. We'll send it on ahead to light the way. Remember, any rock may be loose and any wall may collapse at any time. Please be careful, everyone. Cora, send down the pig, please. We'll need the light. Sure. 
There are some odd projections near the bottom of this tunnel that don't seem to be on the I may be criticized for it later, but I'm going to dig out one of these odd projections. It's your decision, Commander. <coughs> someone there. Could this be part of some kind of message? Like the one NASA put in Voyager. If it's a message, I don't understand it. Whatever it is, we've got to tell Houston immediately. Negative, Robert. I'm clamping down total security as of this moment. You've got to be kidding. You've been telling me all along you just want to be an ordinary member of the mission. I've had secret orders all along to look for any sign of alien presence on this rock. And now that we've found it, my instructions are clear. What I want to hear from both of you right now is I understand, Commander Lowe. I understand and agree, Commander Lowe. There is nothing to be gained from a premature announcement. Robin. I understand, Commander Lowe. Ken. Ken Lowe here. I read you, boss. Tell Houston that I said Attila's a real hunt. What? Is that some kind of joke? Just tell them, Lord. You'll receive new communication protocols immediately after. Oh, cool. This is like a secret code. Just think, Cora. You're the only one in Congress who knows anything about this. Houston says the message is received and they're transmitting new codes. Getting back to work down here, kid. Low out. It's another metal plate. I wish there were some sort of inscription.
Someone turned me inside out twice. It's a little difficult to move now. That's because we've got gravity. Planet type gravity. We're not inside the asteroid anymore. And the pressure is equalized. There's an atmosphere. Can we breathe it? Our suits are checking that automatically. Here we are. Yes, it's at least as breathable as the air in LA. Of course, there's always the danger of airborne infectious agents. I don't think so. Alien microbes should be no threat to us. They have not evolved to make use of our cell structures. The oxygen in our suits won't last long anyway. I say we take them off and save the remaining oxygen for the return trip. If there is a return trip. Yeah, it tastes good. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. Attila was a spaceship all along. A starship. Faster than light. We're not in our own solar system. No planet but Earth has an atmosphere like this, and this ain't Earth. After so many years of bad TV shows and crackpots with phony pictures, here is the real proof. There is alien life. Load a cockpit. Over. Load, a payload, over. Yeah, I'd say we're out of range. Way out of range. I don't see any aliens coming to greet us. For all we know, it might have been a million years since these people sent out Attila, and they long since died out. I don't know about you, but I didn't pack a lunch. Or a can of pop. <laughs> well, we might as well look around and learn what we can about this place. We might be here a while. Where are you going, though? I was going to check for water. Or some way out of here. 
I think we should remain together. Fine. Follow me. This is no longer a space expedition, though. This is an archaeological dig. Therefore, I am the obvious leader. Fine. Whenever we need to dig something up, you can use the shovel. In the meantime, our first business is to survive. Our second task is to get home. We need to work together, and I'm still the commander of this mission. You don't know any more about surviving on an alien world than I do. Boston is right, Ludger. He's the one with experience in survival, and we need someone in command. This is no time for a foolish power struggle. All right, I agree. For now. <coughs> Fantastic! Look! More proof of alien life. Do you think there's anyone or anything alive? It seems someone ought to have been here. Let's hope they're peaceful. Oh God. Can you tell anything about what these people look like from the interior of their ship? All this rust, corrosion. Perhaps animals have moved things around. Hard to know what we're looking at. Let me look. Try not to disturb anything. We might need this wire later. I'm gonna see if I can pull it down. First, shouldn't you turn the power off of the breaker box? What? That was a joke, Lo. Oh yeah. <coughs> huh. Stand back in case something comes down on our heads. Look at it. It's beautiful. Changing shapes. Mathematical progressions of ever more complex polyhedrons. Next time I suggest pulling a wire. No, no, I'm glad you did. What could that have been? Not a random electrical discharge. Maybe it's a kind of computer display. Maybe to the aliens who piloted this ship, it conveyed some meaningful information. But to me, it means absolutely nothing. It still might be useful. Well, I don't see any treasure, but there is something in here. When we get back, the engineers are gonna have a field day trying to figure out how this worked. Did any of you see? Was this here before that thing appeared? Of course it was. Do you think an electrical field can carry a solid object? Thank you. 
think we can safely say this is not a natural weather phenomenon. How about a mirage? Anyone voting for it being a mirage? It knew we were here. It was trying to tell us something, or show us something. Don't be too quick to anthropomorphize. How do we know what life looks like here? It might be alive, or it might be some kind of automatic guidance system. We triggered it in that ruined ship, and now it's leading us. You mean this is the last gasp of a holographic tour guide? Or the Port Authority. Maybe it's telling us we're under arrest. Come quietly, or self-aiming lasers will toast us to cinders in 15 seconds. Stop it. Maybe you can think that's funny, but the last thing I need is some mischievous boy trying to give me the creeps. If I wanted to give you the creeps, I'd tell you that it was the ghost of a long-dead alien. How do you know it isn't a ghost? What? You think this is where aliens end up when they die? If it is, then this place better be hell, because it sure isn't my idea of heaven. Now you're starting to give me the creeps. Not just plants, but creatures too. I'm not an archeologist, but these look like bones to me. But they are not lying where the animal died. They were placed here. Marcus. A grave? Best guess. And now a home for those rat-like things. Are you just going to dig right in? With a shovel? You will destroy the site. I'm not doing archaeology right now, Brink. I'm looking for something to help get us home. Your name will live forever. As the bone-headed space hero, we destroyed precious data at the first alien archaeological site. That's better than having my name live forever. As a commander of an expedition that disappeared and was never heard from again. Now get out of the way if you aren't going to help, Brink. This might take a while. What a fine accomplishment, Commander. Now we have a pile of meaningless dirt and bones. Maybe not. You never know when an alien bone will prove useful. What do you think? Was this the skull of a sentient being? Or a pet? Or a beast of burden? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. It's a strange shaped jawbone. The teeth still look strong. Do you think we could climb this slope? No use. It doesn't go up all the way to the top. The engravings on this wall, are they writing or decoration? You're asking us? It seems to be pointing at this mound. With that device pointing at this mound, I suspect there might be something buried here. How scientific of you, Commander. Another random hole bulldozed by our fearless leader. Maybe not. 
I thought I saw something shining. An artifact. It looks like a bracelet. I'm going to see if I can enlarge that. <coughs> Maybe there's something <coughs> under here. Yeah, maybe something lives down in that hole. <laughs> the utterances of experts. The ground is soft here. Loose. I think this used to be an opening, and over the years, wind has filled it up with sand and dirt. Here, let me see. Yes, that's right. You're probably right. That means the ground is treacherous. It could be hollow under there. Commander, I think it's time for an archaeologist to do the digging. I'm used to dealing with drifted soil. The shovel is yours, Brink. Just be careful. The ground's pretty unstable. My feet kept sinking. My whole training is to be careful. Not to charge in with guns blazing. Finally, a good use for my extensive training. No! It's completely! I can't! No. I couldn't get to him in time. I couldn't. It happened too fast. Can we get down there? How long a drop is it? Looks like the rubble has formed a ramp. Follow me. Here he is. He's not moving. Brink. Austin. He's dead. I should have been the one digging. Then you'd be the dead one. It was my responsibility to. Brink and I are not children or trained monkeys. We're responsible adults. It could have been any of us, and there's not a thing you could have done to prevent it. But I... To lose Brink, and we've only been up here. Look, you can't keep me safe, and I can't keep you safe. So there's no particular reason for us to stay together. Our odds of getting back to Earth are better if we work separately on figuring this place out. I don't like the idea of splitting up. Why? Because we're safer together? Ask Brink about that. Because maybe I won't know what I'm seeing without you to help me understand it. If you find something interesting, the communicators still work. Till then, adios. Ciao, sayonara, Avedar Zane. Maggie, it's against every rule of military action for an officer to be separated from his command. Boston, this isn't a military action, and you don't have a command. There's just you and me, and we both know exactly the same amount about this situation, which is to say, nada, nothing, zip. If we suddenly find ourselves facing an army, then you're in command again. Until then, adios. Ciao. Sayonara. Avedar Zane. Nobody likes you when you smart off like that. Yeah. All my psychological tests as a kid said that I didn't work well with others. So this is what failure feels like. Looks like one of the control plates we found on Attila.
I can't use these two things together. I don't think I want to kick this door in. Glowing down there. I tend to watch the power source for this place. All I need to do now is to find the light switch, or the plug, or the fuse box, or whatever makes this thing work. An instruction manual might help. Maybe a map. And I could use a sandwich. And a hot jukebox and a cold beer. Or just a starship headed for home. <sighs> Get a grip, Austin. Another one of these engraved sticks. What are they? Wands? Batons? Bludgeons? Maybe some kind of handheld computer game. With my luck, it's a hand grenade. <laughs> I can't help feeling like this thing is some kind of key. But is this the key to this lock? And if it is, how does it work? And why am I talking to myself? How long before I'm completely nuts?
It's a rod engraved, five geometric shapes. I don't think I want to kick this door in. I can't use these two things together. It's the cool little flashlight I got from the power room.
could be irritating sometimes, but you sure didn't deserve to die. Hmm. Hmm.
So much for the cafeteria idea. Boston, are you there? I just got the power turned on and a door opened up here. They use geometric shapes as a kind of combination for the locks. 
Boston, you won't believe where I am. I'm in a place filled with alien technology, the most fantastic things I've ever seen. And the machines are working. What are they doing? I don't know yet. I mean, they're really alien. Like nothing I've seen before. Don't go too fast, Maggie. I'll be careful, Boston. But it's not like we have time to use correct scientific procedures to test these things. Where are you? How can I get to you? I wish I knew. It's a sure thing you can't get here the way I did. I slid through a low tunnel in the rock, and then it kind of got filled with debris when the roof collapsed. You could have been killed. Gee, I guess this isn't safe. But if we'd been together, whoever went through the crack second would definitely have been killed. Keep that in mind when you're thinking about coming to save me. I handled it just fine. Yeah, I guess you did. We're both doing okay, Boston. We'll find a way to connect up with each other when it matters. Uh, Maggie? Good work. Thanks, Boston. Now I know what my pet hamster felt like. <laughs> I need some help to pry this door open. Maggie were here, I'd tell her not to take a chance of swimming in the same water with a large eel that may or may not think of her as dinner. So maybe I'll take my own advice and stay on dry land. of a six-legged turtle. It makes me wonder if they have a common ancestor back on Earth. Unless it's just a coincidence of parallel evolution.
one pointed the way down into the nexus. Of course, that's how Brent died. Doesn't look safe to walk there. A bunch of displays set into the walls. Inscriptions here and there. I'd say it looks like some kind of museum. Strange glowing crystals. Another one of these engravings on a stick. Your sure packs a punch. Boston, Maggie, I found you. I wasn't aware that I was missing. You know what I mean. I found a way to get where you are. Through the museum, back that way. That's nice, Boston. If that's the museum, then I guess this is the library. I found out how to open doors back in the Nexus. There's a tram that leads out here. Look, Boston, I think it's great you're finding things out, but I'm trying to concentrate here. I feel like I'm so close to making sense of some of this stuff, and I just want to stay here and keep working. All right? Sure, of course. I just... Anyway, I know where to find you, and you know how to get out of here if you want to. Thanks. Yes. When I learn something, I'll call you on the box, okay? All right. All right, yes, I, I won't bug you anymore right now. Thank you. 
Could this be some sort of burial chamber? Symbols written on a plate. Looks like an alphabet. Maggie were here, I'd tell her not to take a chance on swimming in the same water with large eel that may or may not think of her as dinner. So maybe I'll take my own advice and stay on dry land. Maggie were here, I'd tell her not to take a chance on swimming in the same water with a large eel that may or may not think of her as dinner. So maybe I'll take my own advice and stay on dry land. When this rock fell from the ceiling, it must have cracked open an energy conduit under the floor.
a huge amount of energy flowing along this column. They seem to serve the same function, but they don't seem to fit together. The trams came as soon as I called them. Maybe there are some controls somewhere. if this will even work. Even if these really are the same crystals I saw resurrecting an alien in that museum display, they weren't designed for humans. But it's worth a shot. Fine. What happened? I remember digging, and the ground gave way under me. Brink, you've been dead for several hours. <laughs> you Americans, always exaggerating. I assure you, Brink, no pulse, no breath. Dead. But I found a couple of life crystals in a museum, and from a display there, I got an idea of how to use them. Where's the crystal? I have to see it. I wasn't sure it would work on a human being. Our cellular structures must be very similar. Boston, it didn't just bring me to life. It brought me to life. I feel more powerful, more energetic, more alive than I've ever felt before. Maggie, do you read me? Yes, I do. I hope this is important. I think so. Frank isn't dead anymore, Maggie. You have a very sick sense of humor. Goodbye. No, wait, I'm serious. Deadly serious. Frank! I can't believe it. It was a crystal I found in the museum. The display there showed it bringing someone back to life. So I tried it. A crystal that heals the dead. If we ever get back home, this will change the world. It'll change everything. It's not just being alive again, Maggie. I feel perfect. I feel like I never knew what good health was until today. Now it's all the more important we find a way home. It's always kind of important to me. Keep exploring, Boston. I'll get back to work on the language. You got it, man.
you give me a hand with this? Sure. On three. One, two, three. That was the longest visit from a ghost yet. The whole display centered on this basin. It's full of crystals. Are these the life crystals? Like the one you used to bring me back to life? They look like it. Then it couldn't be more clear. These life crystals are the reason they brought us to this world. They have found the secret of life and they want to share. Weren't you watching, Brink? I don't care what language you speak, that ghost shaped itself like a skull. It was warning us, these crystals are dangerous. It was the symbol of death, Lo. These crystals are the antidote for death, that's what it meant. What if there are side effects? Did you think of that? The side effect is that I feel better than I ever felt before. If you had used a life crystal on yourself, your mind would also be as clear as mine. And you'd see that there is nothing more important than getting these crystals and using them. Brink, I think you're wrong. I think we need to be careful. These aliens are kind and good, Commander. They have given us a gift. Yeah? Well, if this is all so perfect, where are these aliens? Maybe they've moved on to a higher plane of existence. Or maybe they're all dead. <laughs> See how badly your brain is working. How could they be dead? They invented these life crystals. Commander, I feel sorry for you. Still tied down by an ordinary mind and ordinary fears. But I feel too good to want to argue with you. Believe what you want. I'm taking as many of these crystals as I can carry. Well, I'm going to take some for study back on Earth. I'm just not going to use them. But you will, Commander. Maybe I should take one more life crystal. Nothing can open this door. Answer me. Brink, can you hear me? Where are you? Maggie, Brink's run off. He wasn't acting very rational when we found a big supply of life crystals. We're afraid maybe those things are addictive. Or they altered his personality or something. 
Ghost tried to warn us, but Brent was feeling too cocky to listen to good advice. Just when this place starts looking benign, it finds new ways to be dangerous. Anyway, I'm going on without him. I can't think of anything else to do. I'll try to contact him now and then, see if he's willing to talk. Thanks, Maggie. I'm beginning to take this personally. Nobody wants to stay with me. Maybe it's my deal. I think it failed somewhere back there on the Tilla.
it won't accomplish anything. It won't accomplish anything. It won't do anything. It won't accomplish anything. It won't accomplish anything. Seriously? It won't do it. I can't. It won't accomplish anything.
I think I'll just keep this for now. It won't do anything. Don't you think my ass? It won't accomplish anything. That it? What'd be it? What'd be it? What'd be it? What'd be it? It won't accomplish anything. Thank you. 
won't accomplish anything. do anything. Thank you. 
just need a little something to make you complete. My How about a little alien explosive device? Now that the water is safe for swimming, I think it's time to see what's in that underwater cave. Another engraving.
rock on the other side of the gorge. There's an enormous rock on the other side of the gorge. First time I ever did the wave all by myself. Yeah. This moment was this. I guess when you abandon machinery long enough, it's going to get out of adjustment. Just needs a little adjustment. have been going. I can pretty much bet that whatever that little beast just stole, I'm going to want it really badly in a minute. The last time I was small enough to get into a cave that size, I was four years old. Place for everything and everything in its place. Scavengers have picked these ribs clean, but the animal, the hook won't support the cage in that position. A small round hole. It won't do anything. I can't use these two things together. I can't use these two things together. 
I can't use these two things together. It won't accomplish anything. doesn't fit here. That doesn't fit here. It won't accomplish anything. There's something moving in here. short metal dowel. That's a nice fit. something moving in here. The pen fits tightly in the hole. I can't use these two things together. If only I had some bait for this trap. I'll just have to play sheepdog. Sorry, friend, but your little house is about to get a big front door. big enough to squeeze through. It's the critter's empty nest. It's the critter's empty nest. It's the critter's empty nest. It's pointing at me. It's the critter's empty nest. If only I had some bait for this trap, but I'll just have to play sheep. There's something moving in here.
Yeah, right. Like I'm going to stick my hand in some crack in the rock on an alien planet. pen fits tightly in the hole. Shut tight and solid. A thin metal plate with a button on it. It won't do much good to put the cover on when a part is missing. It won't do anything. won't accomplish anything. It won't accomplish anything. It won't accomplish anything. There's something moving in here. It's the critter's empty nest. It's pointing at me. It's the critter's empty nest. It's the critter's empty nest. I can't use these two things together. something moving in here. I can't use these two things together. It won't do anything.
There's something moving in here. Now I've got you. If I let you out, you'll head for the place where you hide nice shiny machinery parts. The only trouble is, how am I going to follow you? It's a small alien critter with an electronic collar. A thin metal rod. It won't accomplish anything. Go, little creature. Roam free wherever your thieving little heart desires. It's got to be right under here. This is where the tracker's pointing. What if I hadn't brought this shovel along? No, that's not worth thinking about. The critter sure didn't like that. He took off down one of his tunnels. Now maybe I can get the door open. Now, with any luck, this will work. It's missing a part. Now, let's get this thing closed up and see if it works. Open sesame. The scepter seems to have an electrical charge. Another one of these engraved sticks. Hmm. I can't use these two things together.
No. Why is that door closing? He didn't steal that part again, did he? I'm trapped in here? Ha! The controls still work on this side. This looks like a command center. This hole is empty. It's an energized crystal.
I can't move this thing with my bare hands. It's half buried in dirt and rubble. Let's see if this plate can be moved. Could this be some sort of burial chamber? I can't use these two things together. I can't use these two things together.
Now we've got some decent lighting. Now we've got some decent lighting. These two things it won't accomplish anything. I can't use these two things together. I can't use these two things together. It won't accomplish, it won't do anything. Won't accomplish, it won't accomplish anything. It won't accomplish anything. It won't accomplish anything. He must have run out on this light bridge. And, uh, fine. Just needs a little adjustment. Fine. Okay, so maybe it needs a little more adjustment. busy trying to concentrate on my work I don't have time for interruptions in other words you want me to go away those are the right words go away Now we've got some decent writing. Oh, 
What a convenient way to open the sky. I can't use these two things together. I can't use these two things together. I didn't know.
It won't accomplish anything. It won't do anything. It won't accomplish anything. It won't do anything. There's nothing to attach it to. Always attach the jumper cables to the dead battery first. I can't use these two things together. 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 Wish I could get inside this thing and have a look at it. See how much damage the corrosion has done. It won't accomplish anything. I can't use these two things together. There's a signal here, but I'm not getting a clear reading. It doesn't point in any direction. It won't accomplish anything. 
and won't do anything. Maybe the combination is right, but there's something wrong with the control panel. Maybe it isn't getting any power. It won't do anything. I can't use these two things together. It won't do anything. I can't use these two things together. Nothing happened. If at first you don't succeed, it still doesn't work. If at first you don't succeed, if at first you don't succeed, it still doesn't work. If at first you don't succeed,
How do you keep an earthling busy? That should hold me. There's something smooth under the dirt. A lens. Light must pass through it down into... statue is life-sized. I hope I don't get kicked out for destroying the exhibit. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Some, this is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. It's jammed. I can't get it out. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. It won't do anything. It won't do anything. I can't use these two things together. It won't do anything. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial. This is a pretty this is a this is this is this is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must this is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. the lens I uncovered. It's the lens I uncovered. I can't use these two things together. There's a signal I'm not getting a clear reading. It doesn't point in any direction. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. Hmm. This is a this is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. Hmm.
Robbins, this is Lowe. Do you read? This is Robbins. Can you see this on your communicator screen? Some kind of inscription? I found this in the museum. Can you read it? It's not the same set of symbols I'm finding in the database here. I don't think it's designed for strangers to be able to read it. Thanks. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Some this is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. This is a pretty elaborate setup. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. Now we've got some decent writing. The stone is some sort of trigger. The stone is some sort of trigger. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a, this is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic. This is a pretty elaborate this is a this is a this is a this is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. This is a pretty elaborate, this is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old stone is some sort of trigger. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. This, this is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important.
This is a pretty elaborate setup. This is a pretty. This is a pretty. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important. This is a pretty elaborate setup for a burial crypt. Something about this old relic must have been important.
When this rock fell from the ceiling, it must have cracked open an energy conduit under the floor. do what you say. can't won't do it.
There's a huge amount of energy flowing along this column. This is light, but it feels as strong as steel. Oh, that. Why that? See if we can pry the cover off. That's it. Yeah, it's a corroded mess in here. Some of the connections have been broken, but it's not getting any power. Let's see if we can get something flowing from this broken conduit on the floor. If I don't electrocute myself in the process. I should have been an electrician. It's a rod, engraved, five geometric shapes.
amazing map system. You don't even have to refold it when you're done. So there is more to that crypt than I first thought. Just needs a little adjustment. be something wrong inside the control panel. So this is what's in the guts of these machines. Thank you. 
another broken light bridge. It still doesn't work. Must be something wrong inside the control panel. If at first you don't succeed, another broken light bridge. It still doesn't work. Must be something wrong inside the control panel. It still doesn't work. If at first you don't succeed. If at first you don't succeed, it still doesn't work. Another broken light bridge. It still doesn't work. Must be something wrong inside the control panel.
Pretty impressive for someone who never took a class in alien physics. Another broken light bridge. If at first you don't succeed, If at first you don't succeed, It's amazing how parallel evolution on two different worlds made bats look completely weird and disgusting in both places.
now that I know what I'm looking for, maybe I can get this slab out of the way. Guard dogs. Where did he come from, anyway? touched the slide. This is the engraving we found in the shipwreck, the one the first ghost gave us. This must be where the ghost wanted us to come all along. Remember, this is the land of the life crystals. Dead doesn't necessarily mean dead dead. Maybe they were trying to keep it from being found and revived. But this is where the ghost wanted us to go. The key to the last door was the key that the first ghost showed us back in the ruined spaceship. Still, you don't have a key to the pyramid, right? Besides, how do you know the ghost is our friend? Brink died by digging where the ghost pointed. I hate not having enough information. I'm working as fast as I can to get this stuff translated. I'm so close I can taste it. Fine, keep working. Call me if you think of anything helpful. won't accomplish anything. He's very tall. Or I'm very short. I wish I didn't keep thinking of the term bite size. Please be friendly. I hope you're friendly. I'm certainly friendly. Let's all be friends. Laham Chiainak Trestolum, Kalatisia Nea Um, Eklash Park. Who are you? Laham Chiainak Trestolum. Why were you so carefully protected? Kalatisia Nea Um. Does this mean anything to you? If you don't want me to have this, I'll go put it back in the museum. No harm done. 
Nic să ne luăm de înțean. Maggie Robbins, one of my crew members. She's working on learning your language back in the library. We really want to learn everything we can from you. Zutsu slak nat slak. Ibit sanarum nenzian. These life crystals. I hope it's okay that we've been kind of borrowing and using them. I mean, good thing, huh? Because here you are. Laham chiadnak trestolum. These light bridges are really great. Was it you who invented them? It's pretty cool sliding around on light. So if they're yours, good job. How am I doing at sucking up? I've been collecting these metal plates that we think are controls like the ones that got us here, but I really don't know. Do they have anything to do with getting us home? Laham Chiadnak Trestolum. What are those ghosts that were giving us hints now and then? Ratso. What are those ghosts that were giving us hints now and then? Nayak Najun Sisu. How does it feel to be alive again after all these years? I can't believe I said something so lame. Laham Chiadnak Trestolum. I'm Boston Lowe, and I've got two crew members around here somewhere, and we're stuck here and we need help. Laham Chiadnak Trestolum. Well, hey, thanks. It's been great talking to you. So long. We should do this again sometime. I better tell Maggie about this. Maggie, come in, Maggie. Yes, what? Maggie, you won't believe what just happened. Boston, I think I've got it. I've got the language. I can read this stuff now. Can you speak it? Because I've got this. But take this inscription here. I'm pretty sure it's talking about... Maggie? My mind must be playing tricks on me. What were you saying about... Ah! What are you? What do you want? What's happening? What's going on? Boston! Frank! Think about me! Maggie! Frank! Come in! Wherever you are, we need you! Something's happened to Maggie! Damn. Come on, guys, let's get a look at you. No! Go away!
You thief! Give those back! I will, Brick. After you help me find Maggie. I'm not going to waste one moment on such a meaningless task. Yes, you will, Brick. If you ever want these life crystals back. You're a miserable bully, Low. Typical military mind. Pushing other people around. Right. So follow me and do as you're told. Is that rational enough for you? Maggie, is that you? Are you all right? Oh. How can she be all right? She's bound up in that web. It looks like it breaks, sealing something off. If I go there, it's lunchtime. Here's lunchtime. It looks like a grate sealing something off. Great. How's Maggie? She's fine for being tied up in a way. Unless we want to end up where Maggie is, we've got to get by this thing. The obvious plan is for one of us to distract him while the other one slips by. Maybe you are thinking that. You want to sneak a distract. I'll be the diversion. Come here, you phlegm, carapace, slime-faced, mucus-brained, furry-legged abductor of luminously intelligent but pulchritudinous earth women. Say what? Lo, you idiot! Why are you standing there? I'm still trying to figure out what you said. Move your silly buttocks, you fool! <laughs> Boston? Where are you going? I'm over here. Don't leave me. At this point, I'm ready to try any damn thing. Water is pouring. 
pouring through that hole at a tremendous rate. Where are you? This monster has me trapped. Boston? Where have you been? I've diverted some of the water from the falls. I thought some of it might flow through here and wash the monster away. Well, instead, the monster's got Brink trapped up there, and I'm still stuck down here. I think the water I diverted from the waterfall is flowing right to that grave. It won't accomplish anything. Rob, what is that down there by you, Maggie? It looks like a grave sealing something off. It's a great sending something off. What are you doing, Boston? I think the water I diverted from the waterfall is flowing right to that grave. There should be a lot of pressure behind it. I'll remember that if I need a bath. I've got to find a way to get rid of your six hundred boyfriend once and for all. Just try to do it before he gets rid of me once and for all. Hey, okay. Rick seems to be very motivated to help me rescue you now that I have his cousin. It was very bright of you, What's your next move, Brains? What is that down there by you, Maggie? It looks like a grate sealing something off. It's a grate sealing something off. <laughs> what are you doing, Boston? I think the water I diverted from the waterfall is flowing right to that grate. There should be a lot of pressure. I'll remember that if I need a bath. Thanks. I think the water I diverted from the waterfall is flowing right to that rate. I think the water I diverted from the waterfall is flowing right to that grave. Brink. There's a grave down by Maggie. If you can lure the monster over toward it, then when Maggie unclogs the grave, the water I diverted will hit it like a fire. This is seriously your plan? Do you have a better one? Maggie, can you get the grate open? 
Has anybody thought that the fact that it does spell water like a fire hose? I'm right here. That's a good point, man. Hold on tight. How do I hold on tight when I'm unclogging a grate? That's why you get the big bucks. <laughs> do it then. Just do it. It's only my life anyway. Come on, you ponderous exoskeleton. You cocoon-eating lobster face, cave-dwelling arthropoidal elementary sphincter muscle. Maggie, you made it. How's my hair? You're worried about your... <laughs> I was joking, Boston. You know, like you strong, manly types do when you just about get killed. Maggie's safe now. I satisfied our little deal. So give me my crystals and let me get back to work. Brink, it's time for us to work together. I said give them to me! Take one more step closer, Maggie, and you'll wish you were back with that giant lobster. He sure is weird. Now what? I've been getting the feeling that the ghosts want us to help them. As if they were stuck and wanted out. Stuck out? Well, the library console seem to indicate that they may have left this world for another. What if they want to come back, but can't? I don't know. How will we go about helping, assuming that's what they want, and they wouldn't need us when they got back? Beats me. I'm just interpreting.
You won't do anything. Here's where my alien education either pays off or we die. Die? As long as I don't accidentally offend him, we'll be okay. Akmush Pog. He says, open your mouth, which is their way of saying, speak. You do the talking, Maggie, so you can understand each other. There's water everywhere in these islands. Waterfalls, pools, and the sea all around. We love the water. But now my people live in an eternal desert, neither drinking nor thirsting. If only they could thirst again, and then drink. If only they could dive into the sea and hear the roaring of the waterfall. The creatures who live here now, did you people know of them, or did they come later? Millions of years have passed since then. What once were pets or companions followed their own evolutionary paths. They have become as beautiful or as terrible, as clever or as stupid as it was in them to be. The monster who captured me, are there any more of them? That one did not evolve. It was made. And there are as many of them as are needed. Who are you, honored one? The bringer of misfortune. Please tell me who you are. I am the doer who undoes, the creator who uncreates. And yet, I would gladly be the destroyer who undestroys, the dangerous one who protects. Speak plainly. Tell us who you are. 
Once I was hailed as the greatest mind my people ever produced. I tried to bring them power and happiness. I gave them power to leave this world, to leave their bodies, to enter an existence as pure mind, eternally perfect. But I could not give them the power to return and reclaim their abandoned bodies, their decaying world. They are lost and cannot return. Had you a name? I had a name when I was alive. Now that I am again and again dead, what need have I for names? My body is now so ancient that the crystals scarcely have power over me. I rise for a few minutes and then I fall again. Soon I will cease to rise at all. Only then will my grief end. I want no name or memory to live after me. The map helped us find you. Did you create it? It was created by those who now wish only to find themselves. Why is this inscription in another kind of writing? I did not write it. I would not have written it. I can read it, but the meaning isn't clear. It speaks of something hidden. It was the first achievement on the road to my greatest error, the one that condemned my people. The language of the library was a great achievement. It was so clear and surprisingly easy to learn. The greater the idea, the simpler and clearer the language needed to express it. Did you invent the life crystals? To raise the dead is the greatest achievement we've seen. What raises the dead can debase the living. Are there side effects to the crystals? What the crystals create is not a life, but a slave. So when the life crystals restore you, you aren't really alive? They restore the cells and the organs, but take away all that made the life worth living. Then why did you make them? Our society became obsessed with living eternally. I underestimated the breadth and danger of the obsession. The crystals are the second worst mistake I made. The light bridges are magnificent. We never dreamed that people could walk on light. Ah, uh, yes. We were happily surprised at how convenient those light strands turned out to be. If we had known, we would not have bothered to build the trams. If you were surprised that the lights could be used as bridges, what did you create them for? When all the bridges are complete, the eye will see. When you say the eye will see, you aren't talking about our eyes, are you? An eye that can see the three dimensions of time, as well as the three dimensions of space. It will show you beauty beyond belief. But once you have seen space-time six, will you ever see space-time four again? The eye may be open, but the mind hasn't the strength to see. The metal plates we found, what are they? They are authority and power. Each shape has a meaning. And when they are fitted together, they have a new meaning. If we put the control plates in the triangle, what will happen? You will open the door to beauty without boundaries and to trouble without end. Why was your tomb so carefully hidden? So only the most persistent, the most clever, and therefore the most dangerous of visitors would find me. Why has your body been preserved so carefully? Since all the evil in this place was my fault, I chose to be its guardian forever. If what you did was bad, 
Why did the museum displays give you so much honor? There was a time when my creations were thought to be good. I believed in myself, or I would never have created them. How long will you remain here? Until the last of my mistakes is rectified, or until the life crystals lose their power out of miserable death. How long will you remain here? Until the last of my mistakes is rectified, or until the life crystals lose their power out of miserable death. We want to go home. That is the wish of all living creatures. It is a vain wish, for there is no true home. All intelligence wanders and has no rest. The probe you sent out brought us here. We want to go back to our home planet. Another one of our terrible mistakes. We sent out those probes when we thought we had found the glorious secrets of the universe. We could not call them back. Thus, I remain here to warn all those who come in answer to an invitation we wish we had not sent. Warning us won't do any good unless we can get back home to Earth to tell other humans. There are two ways to protect your pet. One is if you return and warn them to stay away. The other is if you never return at all. Which warning do you think will be more effective? Tell us how to get back to Earth. I beg you. If my people could return from space-time six where they have gone, they would rebuild the starport. They would make a crystal ship which would take you back to your planet. But they will never find their way back home. Thank you for helping us. I will only have helped you when you give up your foolish plan. We're not giving up. My only consolation is that true death comes closer with each dying. Good job of translating, Maggie. He speaks very slowly and clearly, but I'm also pretty damn good. Thank you for helping us. Help yourselves by giving up. Never look into the impossible eye. You don't have the strength to return from that place. Robins. As worried as I am for Brink, I can't help feeling a little angry at him. He's wacko, nuts, out of his mind with greed. He's not himself. It's those damn crystals. Thanks.
Now that you can read the library inscriptions, can you make any sense out of this? It didn't even look like the same language to me before. But now I can see the relationship between this writing and the things I read in the library. What does it say? It seems to be talking about an important thing, I don't know what, that was hidden. Any hints about where? On the other side of the hole so that none may enter. Then it tells how to um, pull back this part of entrance, whatever that means. It's pretty vague. There are some things that man was not meant to understand. Yeah, but this one even a woman is having a hard time with. Thank you. 
This place is as creepy as the forest behind my house when I was a kid. Okay. Now that you can read the library inscriptions, can you make any sense out of this? It didn't even look like the same language to me before. But now I can see the relationship between this writing and the things I read in the library. What does it say? It seems to be talking about an important thing, I don't know what, that was hidden. Any hints about where? On the other side of the hole so that none may enter. Then it tells how to um, pull back this part of entrance, whatever that means. It's pretty vague. There are some things that man was not meant to understand. Yeah, but this one even woman is having a hard time with. I want to climb these rocks. I'd rather wait down here. Be careful, though. That looks dangerous. I'm back. Thank you. 
Now that you can read the library inscriptions, can you make any sense out of this? It didn't even look like the same language to me before. But now I can see the relationship between this writing and the things I read in the library. What does it say? It seems to be talking about an important thing, I don't know what, that was hidden. Any hints about where? On the other side of the hole so that none may enter. Then it tells how to um, pull back this part of entrance, whatever that means. It's pretty vague. There are some things that man was not meant to understand. Yeah, but this one even a woman is having a hard time with. Robins. 
Never mind. The larger moon is being eclipsed by the smaller one. It's shimmery, a light that doesn't seem real, as if it's just on the edge of existence. It makes me think of something, something I saw earlier, or maybe I read it. You won't do anything. You won't do anything. You won't do anything. It's shimmery, a light that doesn't seem real, as if it's just on the edge of existence. It makes me think of something, something I saw earlier, or maybe I read it. Can you look at this inscription, Maggie? Does it say anything that might help? It wasn't clear to me before, but now I can see. Boston, it exactly describes that strange field of almost light. What does it say? It's a set of instructions. Now it makes perfect sense. I just twist this. Everything's so simple when you read the directions. <laughs> if we didn't know better, we'd think that island had been there for a million years. This island was brought back from another dimension. This island was brought back from another dimension. This island was brought back from another dimension. What was so important that they left us exact instructions on how to get here? Maybe that metal plate over there. That's the fourth one. If it's like the metal plates on Attila, these four should fit together in that triangle matrix. Yes, but there's no guarantee that putting them together will take us anywhere we want to go. You have the most cheerful thoughts, Ms. Roberts. <laughs> if you had been abducted by a monster and then half drowned, you might be pessimistic too. But you lived, didn't you? And your hair looks terrific. You sure know how to make a girl feel good.
We'd better go find Brink again. In case these metal plates do the job. He threatened to kill me the last time I saw him. Maybe it would be safer if we leave him and send an expedition back to get him later. An armed expedition. <laughs> There's no guarantee we'll ever get back. For all we know, this is a one-way trip. You're right. We can't leave him. He scares me, Boston. Worse than the monster. They're both just hungry for something. But Brink is smarter, more dangerous. We're smart too. Let's go. That was a powerful one. Commander Lowe, can you hear me? Brink, we're looking for you. We've got the last of the metal plates and we... Listen to me, Commander. I'm trapped. I need your help. Where are you? It's near one of the light bridges. An arch bridge over a waterfall and then into a crevice in the rock. You must have been there. You're the one who's been turning on all the light bridges, aren't you? Hold tight. We're on our way. Hold tight? Very funny. You just got your hand jammed in the rock? I thought you were in real trouble, Brink. Uh, when would it be real trouble, Commander? When it's your hand? I don't go sticking my hand in the cracks. I was reaching for a life crystal, and then the rock shifted. My circulation is cut off. No blood is getting to my hand. You can't pull me out, Commander. Don't leave me to die here, even if you have to cut off my hand. Don't be so dramatic, Brink. Nobody's going to cut off your hand. Don't make promises you might not be able to keep, Maggie. Are you serious? He's just got a stuck hand. It's a race to see whether gangrene kills him before he dies of thirst or starvation. You'd cut it off. Of course he would. The military trains you to recognize necessity and do it. It would be easier if I had anything to cut it with. Chew it off then! Oh, I would, Brink. But human teeth can't bite through bone. After all that's happened to us, this may be the most horrible. Do something, Commander! Do it now! You're going to saw off his hand with a jawbone? The teeth are razor sharp. What about anesthetic? Do it, Commander! Brace yourself, Brink. <laughs> I 
can't believe you endured so much pain without fainting. I'm fine, but I need more crystals. Come with us to the Triangle Matrix. We've got all the metal plates. You think it's going to take us home? You don't know where it's going to take you. I'd rather gather more life crystals. What if it does take us home, Frank? What if we can't come back and get you? Do you want to stay here forever? Then what will happen to your research into the life crystals? Yes, I see your point. I'll go with you to try out these metal plates. But if it doesn't get us home, then you two will stop interfering with me from then on. All right? You agree we have a deal? Agreed. All right, all right. That should do it. Do what? What's happening? Nothing is happening, that's what. <laughs> that's not exactly nothing, Blink. It's a door. You think Earth is on the other side? I think nothing is on the other side. What did you expect? The Tooth Fairy to come and fly us all home? The door opened. Let's go see what's in there. We had a deal. I came, these metal plates did not take us home, and now you will have to leave me alone forever. You gave me your word, and I expect you to keep it. He is definitely insane. Is that your opinion as a journalist? Mm. It's my opinion as a sane person. I saw something like this in the museum this morning. This machine was the greatest of the inventor's achievements. What does it do? I have it the famous idea. Do you think it might send us home? Right now it's doing nothing. doesn't fit here. It looks like there's a part missing here. There's a gap.
Sorry, Billy. You'll have to find a new home. Speak. When you say the eye will see, you aren't talking about our eyes, are you? An eye that can see the three dimensions of time, as well as the three dimensions of space. It will show you beauty beyond belief, of ones you have seen space-time six. Will you ever see space-time four again? The eye may be open, but the mind hasn't the strength to see. The machine in your laboratory, what does it do? Where the lights all shine, it opens the eye. The eye, does that mean the crystal at the meeting place of the light bridges? The machine generated this eye. The eye sees into all space and time, and where the eye sees, the mind can fly. Was this eye the doorway into the place where your people went? A door that can be crossed only one way. You don't know that. If someone has a strong enough tie to reality... You think you are stronger than all my people? Even they, the strongest race known, could not overcome the temptation before it was too late. If we bring your people back to this world, then they can build a starship to take us home to Earth. It's our only chance. Maybe we'll fail, but you must let us try. Since you think you are stronger and wiser than my people, I will let you have the fruit of your pride. I will tell you how to find the peace I hid, if you know how to ask. But it will cost you more than you ever imagined. Please, don't play any more games with us. Where is the missing piece? You cannot understand what will begin if you activate the eye. You cannot bear to pay what it will cost you. Yes, you've warned us. Now where is the peace? Go to the map with this message and see what it shows you. Thank you for helping us. Help yourselves by giving up. Never look into the impossible eye. You don't have the strength to return from that place.
So that's where the part is. Assuming he gave us the right code. Maggie, come on across. I wish I knew what's going to happen when I get this piece back in place. Where have you been? Where have we been? I need your crystals. All of them. 
right now. Come on, Frank. How many crystals can one man use? Not for me, you fools. I need them for my machine, for science, research. Give them to me. Machine? What are you talking about? I'm through talking. I'm not going to let anybody stand between me and the greatest scientific achievement in history. I only have these few crystals left, Brink, but I'll be glad to share some of them if you want. All of them! You didn't share anything, you know. I took them! And it's a good thing you didn't fight me. I would have killed you to get these. You would have tried. You two will be nothing but a footnote in the annals of my achievements. He didn't damage the machine part, did he? It fits, but the machine still doesn't work. Did the alien lie to us? Or does the machine... I guess I'll take this with me.
get away from here. I won't let you break my life crystal machine. We don't want to break anything. My machine isn't working yet. Yes, close if you want to. I've studied all the inscriptions. Maggie's not the only one who can decipher strange languages. I followed the plans I found, but there's still something missing. And without it, the machine won't work. So if you think you can steal my life crystals again, Commander Lo, think again. I'll kill you first, and believe me, no one will ever revive you. Actually, you robbed me twice, and I only robbed you once. So you're still one ahead. Don't joke with me! Don't joke with him, Austin. I won't stand here and let you distract me from my achievements. Brink. I think I know what piece is missing from your machine. How can you know anything about this? You're not a scientist. You're just a strutting tin soldier. I think it's the same piece that the eye generator needed. I think it's the key to all this technology. The alien inventor hid it because without it, none of the machines he considers dangerous will work. Why would the creator of life crystals think they were dangerous? Because the crystals make you feel so good that they take over your life. All you care about is getting more of them. He said it was the second worst mistake he'd made. And the worst mistake? The eye. So you and Maggie, you keep telling me I'm crazy. <laughs> but you plan to make an even worse mistake. I'll make you a deal, Brink. Yes, like the deal you made before. I keep my part, but you go back on it. I didn't go back on it. I just wanted to talk about it with you first. No deals with liars and thieves. Brink, you need what I have to make your machine work. But if it works, then you'll have plenty of life crystals, right? You could share them with us and it wouldn't cost you anything, right? If you have the missing parts, yes. That's my deal. Your machine, my part. 50-50 on the life crystals. I know you plan to cheat me. We won't even come near the machine when it's running. You divide up the life crystals. Then what's to stop me from keeping them all? Because I am trained as a military man, Brink. And if I ever actually decide to fight you, I don't care how strong and healthy you are. You will lose. And then I will take them all. Got it? Get your missing parts and put it in my machine. Even liars and thieves can bargain as long as they watch each other very carefully. Half the life crystals, Brink. Remember? You don't scare me, you hairless monkey.
I guess I'll take this with me. I just don't know how yet to link them up. I just don't know how yet to link them up. It fits perfectly. This is how the aliens designed the life crystal machine to work. Nothing's happening. Yes, it is. It's vibrating. Who knows how fast it's supposed to work? We'll just have to wait. Suits me fight. We we'll split them 50-50, right? 50-50. This one? But another! Two. That's all? Just two? I need more than two. I don't know about that, Brink, but it's a sure thing I need more than one. You still have all the crystals you stole from me and every other place on these islands. Don't touch them! 50-50, you said, Brink. Well, you must have hundreds of life crystals. It's not even 50-50 if I take these two. I knew you were a liar and a cheat. You weren't going to let me have even one of these. I'll make the machine even better. It will produce more. Not till we're gone, it won't. I need that machine part to run the eye generator. You will take nothing from this machine, you lying thief! Once the eye is working, you can either come back with us to Earth, or you can stay here. Take the part out of the eye generator and put it back in your own machine. Just have a little patience. No! My machine is stopping! You've wrecked my machine! You're a dead man! Frank, please. We don't have to fight. You can have the part back after we're done with it. Everything you say is a lie! Maggie, tell him. If you say a word, Maggie, I'll kill you too! Frank, don't make me hurt you. You won't hurt me when you're dead! Frank! Oh, Maggie, please believe me. I didn't want to hurt him. I didn't want him dead. It wasn't Brink who died here. Brink died when he fell down the hole when we first arrived. What just fell over the cliff was someone else. Someone alien. Created by those 
death crystals. Maggie, are we making an even worse mistake by activating the eye? Staying in this world any longer than we have to, that's the worst mistake we could make. We've got to do anything we can to survive. But what if we die trying? Don't you get it, Boston? This place is worse than death. I'd rather die than stay here. Crystals Brink died for. The alien was right. This thing has already killed one of us, but it's back in place. It's a row of crystalline devices. I don't know how to work these controls. I don't know what to do with this device. Robin, you're the one who read the alien books. What exactly happens when we turn it on with enough life crystals in it? It would have taken me years to read everything, Boston. And I didn't understand half of what I read. But there's no doubt that this machine is dangerous. The alien warned us it might cost us more than we expected. What does that mean? It might mean that just turning on the machine might kill us. You mean he booby-trapped the thing? I mean that the machine may draw on more than life crystals. It may drain the life out of whoever uses it. Then I'm running the controls. Don't be absurd. It might do nothing, too. Or it could kill whoever isn't at the controls. I just want to tell you. No goodbyes. We're going to make it home together, Maggie. I'm not sentimental, Boston. I wasn't going to say goodbye. I just want you to promise me something. After you saw me break every promise I made to Brink, you want me to make another one to you? What happened with Brink couldn't be helped, Boston. I know you'll keep your word with me. What's the promise? If I die and you live, don't use any life crystals on me. Don't revive me. Do you understand? Are you sure? I saw what Brink became. I don't want that to happen to me. You wouldn't be saving Maggie Robbins. You'd be creating a monster with my memories, my face. Don't do it. Promise me. I promise, me. And vice versa, okay? All right. And now you tell me the truth about something, Maggie. Are you sure you didn't find out somewhere that something bad happens to the person at the controls of this machine? 
Boston, I don't know any more than you do about what will happen when I switch this thing on. If that's a lie, I'm going to be really ticked off, Maggie. Yeah, I know. Here we go. You liar. You knew this would happen. The eye. It worked. The eye is restored. Worth it. <laughs> Maggie. should have known the inventor would have one more trick up his sleeve. That was the inventor's last chance to stop me. I will get out into Space Time 6. I will bring the people of this place back home, and they will build me a starship that will take me back to Earth. I guess this is the real test. Can a practical guy from Earth do what all the builders of this place failed to do? Can I go into space-time six and still find my way back to reality? Only one way to find out. farther into this place. I'm staying here, where I can get back out again. You are as strong as we hoped you. I can understand you. In space-time six, all living minds communicate perfectly. You stand at the doorway here. You show us all the pathway back to life. To reality. To a place where we will someday die, yes. And we will have a life before we die. Every past and future, I can see them all. But which one is real? Go back now, human. Take me home. Their bones, their lives, their 
We owe you a great debt, Commander Lin. All I want, now that my friends are dead, is to go back to Earth and tell the story of how they died. Why not let them tell their own story? I wish. You knew the way home, but I know all the other paths through time and space. Wait! Don't go back there! I have brought you a gift. Maggie! Frank! You're alive again. We were lost, but this being found us and led us back. Maggie, I thought I'd lost you forever. So you really didn't try to resurrect me with the crystals? No, I... I promised you. And besides, what the crystals bring back from death, it wouldn't have been you. I know, Austin. You kept your word. And yet, you did find a way to bring me back from death. It wasn't me, but I'm glad you're here. And I'm free of the madness of the crystals, too. You did it, love. No, it was our friend here. No, the credit belongs to you. We once revered a great inventor because he opened the door to unchanging eternity. But you opened the passageway back into true life. All I am is a guy who wants to get back home. Already my people are preparing a great crystal starship to take you in. But we can come back, can't we? You and any others who wish to come. You are a young people, strong and full of hope and passion. We have much to teach you, and you have much to share with us as well. There will be friendship between our species forever. I hope you're right. Not all human beings are as, uh, nice as us. All young species are like that way. But don't worry. If any of your people try to pick a fight, we'll mash them like bugs. How reassuring. The ship is almost ready. Go home and tell your people what has been accomplished here. Telling the people. That's Maggie's job. And getting us home? That was yours. You did it, Boston. Thank you, Boston. We all thank you, Boston.
Thank <laughs> you. 